Taurus, welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we are going to get you some important messages that you need to hear today. And this reading has many specific details that you may not resonate from the beginning to the end. So please bear that in mind. And Taurus, if the table looks different, it's because I've just moved to Bali, Indonesia. And also if I sound a little bit different, it's because um, I'm just recovering from being sick, sore throat and a bit of a cough, but I'm good. Um, that's why I haven't been reading for the past few days, but uh, I can't go on for too long not reading for for you guys or for the rest of the other signs as well, because I, I start to miss doing readings. It's so weird, right? So this is definitely my calling because um, I feel called to do it. I have to do it. But anyway. Let's get a reading started, okay? Spirits and angels, please show me important messages that Taurus need to hear today. Wow, Ace of Cups. Self-love, self-care, or a new love beginning? Hmm... A new love offer. Some of you Ace of Cups also can indicate a pregnancy, okay? That's just for some of you. Again, a lot of details. It's not going to apply to all of you. The lovers. Nine of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. The Hangman in Love first. King of Cups. Seven of Swords. The Hermit. Nine of Cups in reverse. The Moon at the bottom of the deck. Mystery. <laughs> I don't know. I got this uh, right off the bat, okay, uh, Taurus. It could be you or the person whom you could be thinking about or dealing with currently. The Moon here... The rest of these cards and also this moon here, just it's suggesting that there's someone who is very curious about you. Or you could be very curious about this person. Seems to be so mysterious, right? And when I say somebody, that means it could be you or the person. So somebody here is super curious with the hermit and the moon here. It's like looking for some information, trying to suss somebody out here, right? It's like, um... I don't know, there's something about this person. Again, either either you've been really mysterious or you've been really quiet. Uh, you're not kissing and telling or that this person is not kissing and telling. Um, but there's definitely this energy of someone trying to either suss you out or that you're trying to suss this person out. Okay, Because Nine of Pentacles is here. So it feels like, is this person a little bit too good to be true? Because the Nine of Pentacles has got his or her stuff together, right? Someone may have their stuff together. Why is he or she looking so happy being single? Or, you know, or why is this person so successful? That's what I'm getting here. So somebody could be wondering that about you or, or that you could be wondering that about this person. The lovers, Ace of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Some of you, this person just loves how gorgeous you are, right? They're very attracted to you physically. And the Six of Pentacles, they're also very attracted to the fact that you are somebody very kind, level-headed as well. Because if you look at these, this, what do you call this, uh, wing scale here. Yeah, even, right? So maybe something something about you that I feel this person thinks oh, it's impossible <laughs> how can Taurus be so perfect or almost perfect but you could if you see the nine here plus the ace of cups which is just one nine plus one is ten so like perfect or almost perfect okay and five of ones is right here and we've got the hangman in love first some of you, you wonder if you should actually fight for this connection. 
fight for this person, or this person could be wondering if they should actually pursue you, fight for you. Hmm. But it indicates a choice again, right? The lovers could mean a choice. This is quite interesting, Taurus. And King of Cups is right here. And the thing is, Taurus, when you love, you love so deeply, right? You love so deeply. And this could be why also, if you are the one feeling conflicted in regards to this person, I, I think... I think because, again, when you love, you love so deeply and you don't want, you fear the seven of swords here. You fear that maybe this person has some other hidden secrets that you don't know. Could they be lying about themselves? Are there skeletons in the closet that you will eventually find? You know, so you're a little bit careful when it comes to this connection and towards or to this person. It may, ha may have or may have nothing to do with this person, right? Uh, sometimes you are extra careful that we have our guards up because of our past experiences with other people. But um, some of you Taurus, if you don't have anybody right now, you're not currently connected with anybody right now, that means this individual is coming in, okay? And I feel like... It w it's gonna look like again too good to be true or that you're gonna seem too good to be true in their eyes and they're gonna try and investigate something about you to find your flaw to find something that is n like not right about you because it's impossible that's what I'm getting here hmm and then we've got the hermit unless again it could go vice versa you thinking this person is too is too good to, to be true and you could be trying to investigate something like feeling doubtful right the moon is of course a very doubtful energy confusion insecurities uncertainties uncertain you're uncertain about this person for those of you Taurus if you're single nine of pentacles here can indicate that you no longer are gonna be single for too long because the outcome is the nine of cups here in reverse so these two nines, I always read it as could be single, may not always mean that, okay? Sometimes you can be in a relationship, but yet, you know, being very self-sufficient, independent, and don't you don't really rely on your partner for um, anything, right? Like, for example, you have your own money, or that you're emotionally secure. It could be that. I feel like, but for those Taurus who are sing who are single, I see you no longer being single. You have a an option. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here. You have an option of not having to be single again, uh, not having to be single anymore. But you're gonna second guess it with the Hermit and the Moon here. You're gonna be second guessing it. Yep. Yeah. You're going to be like, is it worth it? <laughs> is it worth it? Can I, can I give some of my time and my energy to this person? Or half of my time and energy into this person? Um, or this person could be thinking that about you. Um, because I say this all the time, right? When you get into a relationship, um, it's like your life changes, obviously. Because it's not just all about you anymore. Now you have to compromise with somebody else who is in your life. So both of you will have to work as a team. Mm, just like, for example, so, some of my friends say, Oh, I'm single now and I can do what I, whatever I want. I don't have to tell anybody where I'm going, what I'm going to do. I just can go and do it, right? But when you're in a relationship, you have, you're responsible to be a responsible partner. Right by telling your partner what you're doing, where you're going, because after all, both both of you are sharing your life together. But I feel like this could be for some of you. Either this person is doubting whether they would like to share their time and their effort and their energy with you, like that, because maybe they've been single for a while with the Nine of Pentacles here. Maybe they they love themselves a little bit too much. Ace of Cups here. Maybe they've come to a point where you know, they've built so much for themselves that now they're unsure if they're willing to share. Or it could be you, Taurus. It could be you also, Taurus, that you have built so much for yourself. 
not you don't know if you want to share with this other person right <laughs> but you are attracted to this person the lovers or will be very attracted to this person the lovers here and you want this person though or you will want this person if this person is not in your life yet okay so there'll be a lot of questioning going on within moon here taurus but i feel like taurus is trying to tell you with the hermit if you're in this predicament that perhaps you can take things slowly okay take things slowly there's no rush the hermit is also to me a slow energy because the hermit is on foot not sitting on a horse and um keep you know the hermit is in the dark and holding this little small lamp i guess it is for you to find out and the slower you go um so the slower you go the more careful you approach with every step that you take then the less hurt you will be if you were to find out something right about this person or if things if things don't work out between the two of you and the hermit also can indicate getting some sort of counseling or advice from someone more experienced or be wise with what uh with the decision that you're going to be making here with the lovers it all looks good you know it looks shiny beautiful but then you know nothing is perfect that's uh that's definitely what i'm seeing here you may be in the dark taurus or will be in the dark in regards to this offer coming in you may not be 100 percent sure but then again spirit saying that you can still be you know single you can i mean not single you could still be independent and you can still watch yourself to not be codependent on that person or have that person codependent on you so it's it feels like again with the hermit here if you're careful with every step that you take and don't rush into it then you will find the answer to whether this person is the right one for you okay but you have a choice to get into this relationship with this person perhaps by then nine plus one it could be a ten i mean it could be a good relationship i think but you may may be fearing that this person may be yeah again way too good to be true for you but it is for you to find out the moon also can indicate it is for you to find out but just go slow yeah taurus this is your reading i hope uh, it serves you well i'm gonna um yeah i'm open for personal readings if you like to book me my information is in the description box below if you resonated with this reading in some way shape or form don't forget to hit like share and subscribe um and i'm gonna leave you with playlists on the screen right now check them out if you want to taurus take care and i hope to see you back here soon bye